Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Noshikin Binti Muhammad Shukri. Welcome to TechCon 2021. My research title is Virtual Reality for Teaching and Learning Industrial Building System Among TVET Students. This is the contents of my presentation. Introduction, Literature Review, TVET Industrialized Building System, Virtual Reality, Methodology, Result and Discussion, and finally, Conclusion. Industrialized building system in the construction industry has led to the launching of the IBS policy by the government since 2008. Malaysia has targeted by 2020, 80% of government project and 50% of private project must achieve of 70 IBS score. So to meet the industry demand, TVET institutions are prepared to help the industry with more skilled and knowledgeable workers in IBS. Hands-on and practical learning among TVET students is a good approach. However, the risks and hazards of the IBS training are one of the downsides of learning IBS among TVET students. All safety measures must take into a serious consideration. Furthermore, during the pandemic of COVID-19, hands-on and practical training face-to-face -face is a challenging to execute. Thus, the education system methods of teaching is switched into online teaching and learning. Therefore, virtual reality, VR, is the most appropriate option for a harmless learning experience that can bring students to experience a real-life IBS training practically. TVET provides specific works to people by learning the principles of technology through extensive educational knowledge and following a more specific skill training process. In the era of the Industrial Revolution 4.0 has significant impact on developing countries, including Malaysia. The demands of highly skilled workers that have advanced technology application in most industrial sectors has created a huge demand of skilled workers. So according to Tazifuddin Azmi and Dani Saleh 2021 research, in order to fulfill the needs of skilled workers in advanced technology, TVET should provide a quality education and training to support national economic development in the construction industry-based knowledge. Industrialized Building System IBS. IBS is proven its capability in improving project delivery. The IBS elements such as column, beam, wall, slab, staircase are mass produced in factory. Under the Malaysia Construction Industry Transformation Program, CITP 2016, to 2020, the government aspired to accelerate the adoptions of IBS through mechanizations and modern practices. Therefore, to achieve that goal, training are provided by the Polytechnics, College Kemahiran Tinggi Mara, College Vocational and Academy Binaan Malaysia in order to prepare our students with the appropriate IBS skill. However, conventional hands-on and practical training in workshop uh, has led to hazardous and risky work among students, so extra safety measure must take into consideration. Furthermore, students may lose interest and less engaging in class, and also they find it difficult to understand complex theory. Technology in education is constantly improving. One of the technology is VR that increases human visualizations and perception through computer-generated data on a real-world object. VR is a multi-sensory experience where participants interact within a computer-generated 3D environment. It helps students to learn efficiently by encouraging immense interactions and engagement in the classroom. And then heat mountain display is expected to be a major trend in five years. The rate is currently increasing at 48.7% from 2016 to 2021. There are several of researchers has mentioned that the benefits of VR in teaching and learning. Although there are significant benefits of virtual solutions in education, and before we did the virtual reality in teaching and learning of IBS, there is a paucity of information on the readiness among TVET students and the potential of VR technology to be adopted in the relevant institution. Hence, this paper presents the results and conclusions on the readiness and potential of VR in teaching and learning IBS among TVET students. So this paper will focus on the readiness in terms of VR as a learning aid, uh, knowledge enhancement, existing knowledge and the usage of technology. 
Why why the potentials of virtual reality in teaching and learning of IBS will focus on the curriculum, ICT skills, facility availability, the use of advanced technology in teaching and learning, and also teaching ability. The methodology used in its research was a quantitative approach using a questionnaire. The questionnaire survey questions uh, will provide the participant view regarding the readiness among students and the potential of VR among lecturers. The questionnaire was self-administered by the respondent via the use of Google Form and the question adopt 5-point Likert scale rating and the descriptive statistics are used to analyze the data. A total of 41 students and 22 lecturers from Polytechnic took part in the survey. So the next slide will show the average mean score of the findings. Result and discussion for the readiness of students. The highest mean score of 4.39 is the student willingness to learn new technology and they are interested in using advanced technology in learning. And throughout all the categories, we found that the VR as a learning aid has the highest score among other categories. This result shows that the TVET students are highly ready to utilize VR in learning IBS. And then research done by Rachel Wong 2020 in their research on the implementations of VR in tertiary education concluded that the VR gave a lot of benefits for tertiary students. And then this finding further support by the Bark White 2021 highlighted that game base was preferred by the student due to its realistic and immersive that will give positive impact in learning uh, experience. And then further agreed by the research done by the SATAR, it said that VR provide better user experience compared to conventional methods. The result on the potentials of VR implementation. This mean score is obtained from the 22 lecturers that participate in the survey. The highest mean score with a score of 4.50 is the lecturers are always encouraged creativity in the student learning activity. Uh, research done by Deepti Precore 2020 indicates that VR provides innovative and interactive learning style and an age over traditional teaching and learning style. And VR technology does have an impact on student motivation in performing their tasks. And then furthermore, study done by Luang Vilai 2021 found that by using gaming and learning, e-learning has improved students' engagement and there are satisfactory evidence in knowledge game VR game application. And gaming simulation has created an exciting new learning experience among students. And then we see that the least mean score is a lack of ICT skill among lecturers with a mean score of 2.99. And this finding similar uh, with the research done by Rachel Wong 2020, uh, the research found out that the technical problems in terms of technology, skill, health issue and lack of references are the most major challenges in adopting VR. So the lecturers should take training courses related to VR to increase their ICT skills in future. As the conclusion, we found out that the students are ready to learn new technology and adapt to learning IBS using VR to enhance their understanding. And from the lecturer point of view, we found that the lecturer has the potential to innovate in teaching and learning style. However, the lack of ICT skill is a significant disadvantage to teaching IBS using VR. Albeit the facility and financial availability at the polytechnics, the ICT skill among their staff are essential and need to be enhanced. Hence, TVET's training needs to be improved to produce more trained professionals using advanced technology to develop the country. With that, I end my presentation. Thank you very much.